Hi, it's Len Cameron from Hero Technical Solutions, and in this video, I'll show you how to get data from Excel into ACT. The first thing you want to do before importing data from Excel is to make sure you have a backup of your database. We won't actually do that now, but I'll show you where it is in case you're not familiar with it. You're going to go to the File menu, and then down to Backup, and then click on Database. Okay, now let's take a look at the data that we want to bring in from Excel. I have a sample file here that we'll use for the training purposes. And you want to take your data and make sure that it is formatted and cleaned up so that you don't have to do any of that once you've brought the data into ACT. Uh, with Excel you can, you can move around and you can type quickly and use formulas and it's a whole lot easier to clean it up here than it is to clean it up after you've brought it into ACT. So once you've got your data the way you like it, go ahead and save this as a CSV file. And in Excel 2007, the way we do that is to click on the Office button in the corner. We go to Save As. And we'll choose Other Formats. And then in Save As Type, we're going to choose CSV for Comma Delimited. And I'm going to call this SampleData.CSV. Go ahead and click Save. And then we click OK. Excel is just warning us that CSV files only support one worksheet, which is fine. We'll click OK. And we'll click Yes to confirm that we want a CSV formatted file. Once you've done that, you need to close this file because you cannot do the import while this file is open. And we can click No here. I know I just made a save to this, so that's fine. One trick that you can use is, since you just saved that as a CSV file, you can go back and open up your original Excel file and that way you can see the data while you're setting your import up in ACT. And so we'll go back to ACT. Okay, so one of the things you need to think about before importing data is how should ACT look at what you're importing to determine if there's a duplicate that it needs to merge. And so on the Tools menu, under Preferences, we've got a button for duplicate checking. And this is where I tell ACT what fields to look at to determine if my contacts that I'm bringing in are duplicates or not. So in this case, I am checking on Company, Contact, and Phone. The file that I'm bringing in doesn't have company information, it just has contact and phone number. So I'm actually going to change this. So I'm going to tell it to only match on contact and then on I go down to phone and I'll leave the last one blank for none. If you have less than three fields to match you'll just leave the leave the other ones to none. Make sure enable duplicate checking the database is turned on and click OK. And then click OK again to close the preferences. Now that we've got that set Let's go to the File menu and go to Import. And then we'll click the Next button. For what type of file do you want to import? We need to change this to Text Delimited. It means it's a text file and the records are delimited with commas. And we'll choose that file that we just saved, that CSV file. And we'll go to Sample Data and click Next. Okay, now we pick what kind of records we're bringing in. We're bringing in contact records. Click Next again. Now we have to tell ACT what kind of file we're, we're using. We chose a CSV file, so we're going to leave this as comma. We had chosen a tab delimited format instead, which is another text file format that ACT supports. We'd choose tab. Then we need to pick whether or not we're going to import the first record. In our Excel file, the first record was the headings. We don't actually want to import those. We just want to import all the records after that. So we will leave that unchecked. If your data doesn't have a header row, then you can check this off. Otherwise, it'll skip the first contact. OK, and now we'll tell it, do not use a predefined map file. And ACT takes a guess at what column from Excel matches up with what field in ACT, and it does that by matching the column names that we had. 
So we need to help act out a little bit and fill in the rest. So in our sample data file, we had a row called address. And so in act, we want to match that up with address 1. And then the postal, we'll want to match up with zip code. And then for province, we will match that with state. So you can tell that I'm working with a Canadian installation of ACT, but the demo database is in US, which is why we're importing postal into zip code and province into state. So let's find that there. Once we've got these all lined up, we can click this next button here, and it'll show us a couple of field, uh, a couple of records here that we can take a look at and make sure things line up right. Yeah, it looks like the address there. Okay, first name, last name. Once you're happy with this, you don't have to go through every record in here. Just go ahead and click on Next. And now you can choose Merge Options. Merge Options are what to do if ACT finds a duplicate. So I'm going to click on Contact. And on the left hand side it says if source records match destination records, what do we do? Well that basically means if my Excel data has a line that matches up with a contact based on my duplicate checking criteria. So in this case, if the contact name and the phone number both match a record in ACT, what do we want to do with them? Well, we're probably going to want to choose Merge. Uh, merge will smush the information from Excel together with what's already in ACT. It will only fill in the blank fields in ACT. So you need to know that because if, if your file has updated phone numbers and such in there, the merge option will not clobber the existing phone number. Now we could replace with source contact. That means replace the contact in ACT with a, the data from our source, which is the Excel file. Or we can do nothing. We can stick our head in the sand and leave it alone if it matches. So I'm going to leave that at the merge option. And then the other side here says if the source records do not match destination records, which really means if the record you're bringing in doesn't have a match in ACT, what do we do with it? Well, the logical choice would be to add, but you can also choose do not add. The only reason that I can think of that you might choose do not add is if you're looking to add and fill in information for existing contacts, but don't want to add any new ones. So we're going to leave that with add. Most of the time, this will serve you well to have merge and add here. I'm going to click on OK. And then we can ask ACT to have us confirm every time it finds a match before moving on and ask us what to do. That works OK if you don't have a lot of records to bring in. But if you're bringing in a significant number of records, you're not going to want to sit there and confirm every time it finds a match. So we'll, most of the time, we'll leave that unchecked. I'm going to leave it unchecked this time. And we will click on Next. Okay, so ACT tells us that we're good to go, and we can click on Finish, and the import will begin. Okay, so ACT disappears briefly while we do the import, and then it goes to our contact list. And so we can't tell from here exactly what just came into our database, but let's go and find out uh, what contacts were just created. And my favorite way to do that is to go to the lookup menu and go to other fields and we'll look for the create date. And if we do create date is equal to today, we're only going to find the contacts that were created today, which for the most part will be the contacts that you have just imported. So if you're working with a database with other users or you've already done a whole bunch of work today, you might have some others in there, but we're going to look up the ones created today. And in our case, we've only got three that we brought in. So I can see there, I've got the, the contact names and addresses in Hamilton. And it's always a good idea to take a look at at least a couple of them and make sure everything's brought in there. We've got a phone number there as well. We've got the postal code and the province. Everything looks good. So that is how to bring data from Excel into ACT.